A Bridge Too Far was a movie about a failed wartime attack. But this name could also describe a number of failed attempts to join Italy and Sicily with a bridge. It's a long-term, unhealthy Italian obsession, which some would also call a bridge to nowhere. So what is this insanely challenging bridge which has eluded everybody in history? The Strait of Messina Bridge, known as Ponte sullo Stretto di Messina, is a long-planned, symbolic, three-kilometre, nearly two miles, suspension bridge across the Straits of Messina, connecting Torre Faro in Sicily with Villa San Giovanni on the Italian mainland. The obstacles throughout history have been numerous. Sicily and Calabria are slowly moving apart. It's a dangerous earthquake zone and has suffered devastating in earthquakes in 1783 and 1908. There are strong and persistent winds across the Straits of Messina which would affect any bridge. There are strong sea currents and it varies in depth between 72 metres, 236 feet, and 250 metres deep. There's the constant risk of infiltration by organised crime groups. The bridge would have to be at least 65 metres above the waterline to allow ships to pass underneath it, and arguments still rage as to whether this is enough. There are also environmental concerns for seabirds and mammals, not to be overlooked, all the local traffic routes leading up to the bridge would have to be upgraded at significant cost to cope with the increased traffic a bridge would attract. Ferdinand II of Two Sicilies commissioned architects and engineers to plan a bridge. In 1866, plans for a bridge between Calabria and Sicily were drawn up. Esteemed engineer Alfredo Cotrao studied a proposed bridge but decided that the construction of pylons in the sea was one, too difficult, and two, a risk to shipping. In 1876, politician Giuseppe Zanardelli was convinced to either plan a bridge or a tunnel. The option to build the tunnel was too complicated and costly, and instead a ferry service began in 1896. A geology study was published in 1909, and a later viability study of a suspension bridge. All this came to nothing. In 1934, engineer Antonino Calabretta again proposed a bridge. In 1953, famous bridge builder David B. Steinman planned a bridge with two towers sunk in 120 metres of water, which would have created a world record beating the span of the Golden Gate Bridge and the Mackinac Straits Bridge with separate levels for rail and road. Every Italian politician has an opinion on this bridge. It remains a popular election pledge, as many companies would profit handsomely from building such a challenging construction. Supporters argue it will create a lot of employment and boost the economy of Sicily, if it did. But at what cost? Opponents maintain the money would be better spent on maintaining the roads. In 1969, the government announced a competition to design a crossing. There were 143 submissions, and this included one for an underwater tunnel to a suspension bridge with five spans. In the 1970s, a private company called Stretto di Messina was set up with the intention to build a crossing. There was a further plan for a suspension bridge, developed during the 1980s and the 1990s. But this was cancelled in 2006, partly due to an anti-mafia investigation. In 2009, Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi announced the construction of the bridge will resume, but he lost the election and it was cancelled in 2013 by Prime Minister Mario Monti due to cost. In 2020, Premier Giuseppe Conti decided to re-evaluate the project. In 2021, businessman Pietro Salina of WeBuild announced he was ready to build the Straits of Messina Bridge, starting immediately and it would be completed in 2032. The project was revived by Italian Prime Minister Giorgio Meloni 
in 2023 and it's still subject to a number of legal challenges. If completed, it would be the longest single span suspension bridge in the world. Towers nearly 400 metres high, carrying road and rail traffic. The Italian Treasury estimates that 1.2 billion euros has been spent since 1965 just on feasibility studies. The estimated building costs have risen from 3.9 billion euros in 2006 to over 13 billion euros now. If you've heard of the myth of Scylla and Charybdis located on the Straits of Messina, then perhaps these are also factors to consider in building the bridge to nowhere. Click here to get even closer to Italy and Sicily.